So now that we are actually <laughs> back from Chile, can you say hi to our dog Milo? <laughs> Um, now that we're actually back from Chile, we're starting to look through the videos and one of the things that I found really difficult when we were gathering all of our equipment, thinking about what we were going to take with us, food, um, was it was a little difficult to find things. Packing lists were kind of all over the place. So we're just going to go through what we actually took with us on our seven day hike. So starting with that. These were our backpacks that we took. So mine is a North Face backpack. Um, I don't know, like 55 liters or something. Yeah, 55 liters. The big reason that I chose this backpack actually was that it has a zipper here in the front that you can actually open up to everything that's inside of it um, and then zip it back. So if you have something in the bottom or want to rearrange it, it was really nice uh, to be able to get into the bottom that way. And mine's a uh, Osprey, uh, 65 liters, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the reason I chose this one is because it was for free. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, her parents found it in a garage sale where it was brand new uh, and gave it to me. So, I mean, no, easy choice. Beggars can't be cheaters. <laughs> no, so we'll start by talking about our clothing that we took. So, Aaron will go through his clothing first. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, the main thing were just hiking pants. Um, I had about three pairs of standard lightweight, uh, kind of waterproof hiking pants. Uh, Rewore them every other day uh, just because we were tight on space so I wanted to cut back on a few things. Uh, one thing I did not cut back on however uh, were socks. Uh, I actually took one for each day. Um, Erica made a slightly different choice but <laughs> and then uh, one pair of underwear for each day because again not too clean. Uh, and then just a few shirts. Um, additionally, I got a pair of lightweight gloves just because you don't need the thick heavy ones around the time of year that we went. Uh, a buffer to, a buff. well, a buff. <laughs> a, <laughs> to a, buffer the wind. Uh, to buffer the wind uh, and also keep your ears uh, face warm. Uh, oh yeah, beanie. I don't have it with me. Uh, just a standard beanie. I got a standard puffer jacket. Um, super lightweight, very compactable. I got a rain jacket. Now this one I don't like because it's just so big, thick, and stocky. Um, I think I would opt for a thinner, smaller one. Um, that's essentially what I brought, the gist of it. Hi. Um, so as far as what I took, I took pretty much the same types of clothes that Aaron did. Um, so I took a total of three shirts and then three hiking pants, three types of hiking pants. I had a couple actual hiking pants that were good for the little colder days. And then I had one pair of leggings that I hiked in. I did, however, use the same pair of pajamas for the entire trek, which was actually okay since there were showers in most camps. The, the difference uh, that I made was I only took three pairs of socks to hike in. Uh, <laughs> so I only took three socks. The other socks that I did bring though was I actually brought a different pair of wool socks that I used at camp um, and some toe socks that I used at camp. And the reason I brought toe socks was because I took a pair of flip flops and that's what I wore, that's what both of us actually wore at camp um, after we took our hiking shoes off at the end of the day. Just a long sleeve plain shirt. Uh, the thing about Patagonia is everything is about layering. Um, we were in probably all of our layers every single day in different quantities. Um, so very important to just bring a basic uh, long sleeve shirt. I brought a buff, brought a beanie, brought pretty lightweight gloves. You know, these gloves weren't the warmest to be honest, but I did use hiking poles whenever we hiked. And I don't think that I could have like properly grabbed the hiking poles if they were a little bit thicker. So I think that these were a good choice considering what we were doing. So I, I would do this again. 
So uh, one thing that I, I did regret was not using hiking poles. Uh, Erica lent me one of her hiking poles when we went over the John Gardner Pass. Uh, it was super steep and I really, really, really loved it and thought that would have been great for the rest of the trip as well. Everyone except for Aaron actually used hiking poles. It was the first time I had used them before. Um, but like, it, like Aaron said, the most beneficial day was definitely on day four when we were going down the steep hill. Your legs were already kind of jello from going uphill for hours. So once we started going downhill, they just kind of gave out a few times. You have more clothes? Oh. Yes, I have more clothes. <laughs> So I have a lightweight puffer jacket as well, and a standard puffer jacket it compresses really well. The rain jacket that I brought is a little bit different than Aaron's. Mine was more of a pure rain jacket, and it's pretty thin, uh, compresses a lot better than his does, and still kept me pretty warm because it still repels the wind. Uh, mine's just like a standard North Face one. I think that mine was a better choice than Aaron's was. It was. <laughs> I'm putting it into the clothing category, but it's my bathroom bag. Aaron didn't really take much for his bathroom stuff, but I just have this little very small bag. This is all the bathroom stuff that I took for the entire time. Biggest space takers are these. They are actually bars of shampoo and conditioner. This was something new that I discovered before this trip have a brush, you know, standard toothbrush, toothpaste. Uh, whenever I travel anywhere, I actually put all my face wash in a contact case. And then the last thing that I took that no one else brought was sunscreen. Everyone kept asking for the sunscreen because the first day we did not put any on and everyone kind of regretted it. Yeah, especially, so that's one thing you gotta watch out for, sunburns. Uh, I didn't put any on my hands. One thing I definitely recommend doing uh, on the first day, my hands got super somber, and it was really painful to put my gloves on. It was painful the rest of the day, or the rest of the trip, because I got sunburned on my forehead and nose. I looked like Rudolph. I actually did bring a regular cap, but I didn't wear it at all. They weren't actually in our bags, but we both had our hiking shoes. Uh, so you can see we both chose hiking shoes that did not have any ankle support. I personally liked my hiking shoes. I think that Aaron would choose differently after would. he rolled his ankle multiple times. Twice on the first day. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's kind of it as far as our clothing. <laughs> so the next thing that we got were, uh, we brought were uh, inflatable mattress pads. Uh, they were great for keeping you warm, uh, kept you off, of the gr uh, off the ground a little bit, and it was actually pretty comfortable. Uh, normally some people would opt for the foam ones that you can just roll up, but these were definitely a space saver. Uh, just especially because we were traveling uh, on the plane, we didn't want to have to bring as much stuff. Uh, and, I don't know, yeah. pretty awesome. These actually do weigh a little bit more, and then obviously you have to blow them up and take the air out every day. But I think that they were a lot more comfortable to sleep on, and they ended up actually taking less room in our bag. So um, I have the ultra light one, which I think is the most lightweight. Aaron's is just the lightweight one, but mine's a little bit narrower. Um, so he chose a little bit bigger one uh, than I did, just because he's not as small. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. The next thing we brought were inflatable pillows. Um, something that helped us sleep better at night although I don't think you really needed it, um, just primarily because you were so exhausted at the end. Yeah, <laughs> these were definitely a luxury that not everyone takes. If I did it again though, I would still take it. Like it's it's very small, I can shove it into a, a little nook and cranny put and it, I slept better at night. So. Put it in your pocket. Yeah, they're really small. I would definitely recommend them and take them. And then uh, one other thing where we'll just jump in, we got uh, both Big Agnes tent, a uh, two person tent, lightweight, and then um, a Big Agnes uh, Sleep. sleeping bag. And we also got compression bags for that. Something we definitely recommend. Again, another space saver when you go on a trip like this. The, these are all of the compression bags are off of Amazon. Um, they're all the same brand, just different colors so we could pick it out a little bit easier. Both of our tents we've actually had for several years, so we just took that again. They're rated for like 20 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. 
And then another thing were the uh, rain covers for your back backpack. Yeah. Uh, I wish I got a little bit of a bigger one just because it was always struggling to go over mine because it's a lot, it's longer than Erica's, it's bigger. But um, it was really nice because it has clips here to help go around your the straps of your bag and prevent it from blowing off. The next thing uh, that I wanted to bring bring out were just compactable towels. Uh, so I brought two. One for cleaning the utensils, plates, cooking, cook, cooking gear and stuff like that. And then another to dry yourself off after a shower whenever you got the chance to shower. Yeah, I mine I took one. Uh, it went missing the last day, so I did not have it any longer. But <laughs> I also had one. <laughs> and then that's uh, another segue into the uh, cooking the gear. Pans. Erica brought yeah, this. Yeah, so I carried this in my backpack. Um, it is not the most lightweight cooking set, um, but it has several different pans and since there was four of us traveling this was kind of the, what we thought was the best option for us so um it has a frying pan which go which is on the top comes with a couple lids for the pots and then inside of everything kind of just Cut goes in it really nicely. So there's four different colors, which were really nice since there was four of us. We always knew what um, everyone's color was, uh, and they came apart. So typically we would use this one as our bowl and this one as our um, cup tea. Coffee. Yeah, cup tea, coffee, uh, whatever we were having that day. Uh, and then you can also just open it up, and that's where we stored stuff too. So this one, I actually can't use this. I tried multiple times, I can't figure it out. But that's how you, this is how you attach, uh, it's a handle for everything. Um, so different colored ones. Other things that we actually stored inside of this, which were very important to us, <laughs> was a seasoning. Uh, it actually has a place for four different seasonings so we didn't have to have bland food throughout the trail. And then, my family really likes cheese, so we had to bring a mini cheese grater with us to grate our cheese over our meals. The other things is there is a smaller pot. This is a two liter um, pot. Below the two liter pot, there is plates. We didn't really use the plates much actually, but they're pretty lightweight and just fit in the thing, so we brought them anyway. And then there is a bigger pot. This one is a three liter pot. So it comes with a lot, but it all fits in, and then it comes, this is actually a washing basin. We really didn't need that whatsoever, but it held everything together. So if you're traveling with less people, you probably don't need this big of a set, um, but for what, for all four of us, it actually worked really nice. So speaking of food, how did we cook our food, Aaron? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had a little burner. It was actually really cool. This is one of my favorite things. Uh, it's actually a miniature burner, and you just screw it onto the uh, can of propane. Uh, obviously, we can't travel on the plane with this uh, in our bags because we were carrying on, so we opted to get it actually in a town before we left. But you essentially screw it onto the propane. Uh, it's got a little cool igniter here. And then we both had another thing um, a bladder uh, for your water. Uh, it's actually really cool. Uh, one thing that um, uh, well, we, we got like uh, tablets to purify your water which was never used be just because they say uh, the water is so clean from the glaciers that you can drink straight from it. It was really cool. I actually saw a couple people with cups, just metal cups, just scooping it out of uh, streams and rivers and drinking straight from it. I obviously was not brave enough to do that. Uh, just a little paranoid that I'd get sick, uh, regardless of the fact that it's so clean. So we just kind of stuck with this and filled it up at the uh, lodging. That's most of what we have. We also just took a basic flashlight and headlamp. And then we also had a light that we can put at the top of our tent. This was actually really cool. I like it because you it, like usually you have straps at the top of your tent and uh, you can blow it up 
and then hook it to that and it's cool because it's got a solar charge so you can hang it on your backpack and let it charge throughout the day and then whenever you uh no oh, let's see oh it's out of power but it's actually really bright it's uh, super nifty so you don't have to mess around with the light in the tent and yeah the only kind of caveat to that is we brought all of this stuff for lights and we actually didn't use it at all because <laughs> the time of year we went, the sun set really late. So by the time we were going to bed, it was still light outside usually. Um, still nice but, to have just but, in case. Yeah, it's nice to have just in case. I'd still probably take them. Um, speaking of power though, we also each took a couple power banks. One was to charge the camera, and then we just charged our phones, although you don't really have service, so we didn't need our phone for much while we were there. The last thing uh, that we had kind of in our general packing gear is we made a little bit miniature first aid kit. Um, so that just had basic stuff. It had some band-aids, and we did put some of the blister, uh, like the special little blister band-aids in there. Uh, we put an ACE bandage. <laughs> I insisted on putting in the ace bandage because I knew that I was gonna roll my ankle. Aaron made fun of me. He said it was a waste of space. And who was the one who used the ace bandage the entire trip? This guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was kind of all of our gear. The other big thing that did take up space obviously was our food. So we took about, obviously we don't have our food anymore and we ate our food. Um, but we took about 50% of our food with us and then bought the other 50% after we were in Puerto Natales. So this is a picture that we took prior to packing our bags before we went to Chile. Um, and this is pretty much showing all of the food that we took with us. Um, so in this picture, kind of the big things that we took were we have all of our tuna packets. We weren't really sure what we were going to have as far as variety there. Um, so we just took and brought all of those because we knew we were going to have that for lunch every day. Um, we brought a couple dehydrated meals for dinner. Um, and then we also have a couple different type of salmon packets that we were gonna mix in with our dinners. Again, we just didn't know exactly what we were gonna find there. And these were pretty lightweight, so we just took them with us on the way. Um, the one other thing that we did take with us and ordered ahead of time in this picture uh, was some little seasoning packets and like mayonnaise miracle whip packets to put in with our tuna packets that we had for lunch. So we had some olive oil, we had some seasonings, we had uh, the Miracle Whip, mayonnaise, and it's pretty much everything that we took with us. So that should be everything in this picture. And uh, don't worry, if you have a sweet tooth like I do, uh, you don't have to bring any sweets. Uh, at some of the lodges, they actually have some snacks in case you wanted to buy like a Snickers bar or something like that. Um, so just keep that in mind, bring some cash. Uh, I think they did cards too. No. No, they didn't do cards. So uh, bring a little bit of cash. Uh, we just, dollars would work fine, uh, US dollars if you're, um, if you're from the US uh, and then. Yeah, they take dollars, euros, pesos. They take pretty much most currency, to be honest. We had primarily the same food every day. Um, so every morning we made, we pre-made uh, little oatmeal packets. Um, so we each had seven oatmeal packets. It was just plain oats. We put a sugar cube and then we put some dried blueberries in there um, that we would just pour water over in the morning and eat. And then for lunch, we bought tortillas. So we had a tortilla with the tuna packet and then we would each mix one of our mayonnaise or Miracle Whips in with the tuna. Uh, and then uh, we also had our Cliff Bar as a snack and then our peanut butter as a snack. And then for dinner, um, we either had pasta with just some sauce over the top of it or we had um, like couscous or rice uh mixed with salmon or salami or something like that and so we would make those we would make that every night um but we actually ended up eating pretty much all of it except for the oatmeal we got extremely tired of oatmeal after about day three or four so I think there was a day that i even opted not to eat it because i was so tired of it <laughs> yeah 
All right, so I think that was all of our food. That was pretty much everything that we took with us. It's kind of a long video, but we honestly had a lot of things. Uh, and there were a lot of questions that came up for me whenever I was trying to figure out what exactly to pack. Um, and if there's anything we didn't really cover, you have questions, um, let us know. We'll try and respond uh, with anything that we came across. But that was uh, what we took. That was our journey around Taurus del, del Paine. Taurus del Paine. Taurus del Paine. That was our trip around Taurus del Paine. And scene. So join us next time. <laughs>